Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Want to talk about Windows 11. It's early October 2021. Don't think anybody should be trying to install Windows 11 right now. But under Start and Settings and then Windows Update, you may have noticed this message that says this PC currently doesn't currently meet all the requirements for Windows 11 and you might be freaking out. There's no need to freak out. All it is is an option in the BIOS that isn't installed or excuse me, enabled. Now all you have to do is go into the BIOS and enable it. Um, you have to have a TPM 2.0 uh, device on your computer and if you go to Device Manager under Security Devices, which you may or not be able to see that well, you need to, it needs to say TPM 2.0 device under here and it doesn't. It just says this AMD PSP 11.0 device. I don't even know what that is. So we're going to reboot and we're going to go into the BIOS and we're going to enable the TPM and when we come back into the device manager we'll see that we have a TPM 2.0 device. So I restarted the computer and I immediately start tapping the delete key until we're in the BIOS. I just keep tapping it. And normally when you go into the BIOS you are in simple mode. We want to change to advanced mode which is F7 Again, this is an ASUS TUF uh, AMD board, F7, and it's going to be different on different manufacturers' boards. It's going to be different even on ASUS boards with Intel chips. So it's very dependent on what you're running. I'm going to go over to Advanced by using the right arrows, and I'm going to go to AMD FTPM Configuration, hit Enter. It says it's set to Discrete TPM right now. What that means is you can plug a discrete TPM module into the motherboard or you can use the built-in TPM. Leaving it set to discrete means you're planning to plug in a third-party TPM, which we're not. So we want to change it to a firmware TPM. So AMD TPM is a hardware TPM 2.0 implementation integrated into the AMD AGISA code. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so once you make this change, by the way, making any changes in your BIOS, I have to say, be careful, you can screw something up. So that's my disclaimer. I'm not telling anyone to change anything in their BIOS. I'm just showing you how I fixed my computer. So I'm going to go over to, uh, say, to exit and I'm going to choose save changes and reset. And then, once we're back into Windows, we're going to go to the Device Manager and we should see that we have a TPM 2.0 device. Also know that in the settings under Updates, it's still going to say our computer does not meet the requirements because it doesn't continually recheck the requirements over and over and over again. So, don't be surprised. Well, it's going to say that we still don't meet the requirements for Windows 11. Um, just know that that's going to be the case because, again, it doesn't continuously check constantly over and over. Oh, has he, has he, has he rectified the situation? Has he rectified the situation? So, if I go to Settings, Update and Security, it still says PC doesn't meet all the requirements. But if I go to the Device Manager, and I look under security devices, we now have a trusted platform module 2.0. And if I run the PC Health Check software that you can download from Microsoft if you're so inclined and you don't believe that your com you know, computer is good to go, I'm going to go ahead and install that. It's just a little program. And it will check your computer and tell you if you're ready for Windows 11. So check now. This PC meets Windows 11 requirements. So because I installed or enabled, excuse me, I shouldn't say installed, enabled the TPM 2.0 module in the BIOS, we are now good to go to install Windows 11, again, but I don't recommend it, uh, until a little bit down the road. And again, it's still going to say under Windows Update, it's still going to say your PC doesn't meet all the system requirements. I, I guess this message will eventually go away. And I guess I should go ahead and install some of these updates too. So there you go. This is a ASUS TUF 
uh, AMD board and how I got my computer to be ready to install Windows 11 when I choose to install it.